Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Perez. Heidi Alaga has the night off. A woman is facing five manslaughter charges in Monday's fiery crash that killed five people in an SUV. Kega 9's Craig Smith has more from the west side at the intersection of Ajo and San Joaquin. Five people died here at San Joaquin and Ajo when a vehicle slammed into their SUV and that SUV caught fire. We talked with some eyewitnesses who say they tried to save those people in that burning car. It was like whenever I went to go to, to, to touch the door, it was, it was like touching the stove or something. But Sean Guffroy says he was thinking of the people in that car as he and several other people pushed past the danger and tried to break into the car to get the family out. He knew the wreck was a bad one. He saw the impact on the car right in front of him. Another silver car that was came flying up like probably like 80 to 100 miles per hour and uh, it struck the car and immediately the, the other car that got struck it, it went on fire. He says before he moved to the car with the five people inside, he got the driver of the car that hit the SUV out of her car before the leaking gas could set it on fire. Arizona DPS says that driver was 33-year-old Malin Christine Pavolka. Investigators say just a few seconds before impact, she drove about 80 miles per hour and ran a red light and drove past a state trooper to do it. DPS says while being treated at Banner UMC, she told investigators she's been diagnosed with a mental health disorder but did not believe the diagnosis, so wasn't taking any meds. Detectives say she told them she was just driving and didn't have any particular place to go. Authorities moved her to the medical wing of the Pima County Jail. She's charged with five manslaughters and will stay in jail until trial unless she can post a million dollars bond. West of Tucson and Ajo and San Joaquin, Craig Smith, KGUN 9.